Can you see the tower? That's Abe no Harukasu and uh, you see the white building. That's one of the luxury newest resort in Osaka. Hoshino Resort, almost seven. From here, we can't see much, so let's get out from the station and uh, let me show you guys how it looks like. In Shinimamiya Station, there are two lines. One is JR and the other one is Nankai Line. Those are really similar, however, different kinds of line. Nankai has the orange color, JR has the blue color. If you are heading to Universal Studios Japan, you will use the JR line. Anyway, let's get out from the station. Here we go. To be honest, this Shinimamiya area is not that safe area. So I was kind of surprised that they made a, a luxury resort in this area. It's kind of the line. There are so many business hotels and also uh, crossing this street, you know, not that safe area. And the hotel is made in this area. Let's get closer. <laughs> Osaka Samurai is still here. He's looking at the almost seven. Yeah, that white building over there. Something that you should know is talking about the Nishinari area. I mean, not that safe, but still it's Japanese standard. So compared to other countries, still it's safer. So if you are the traveler by yourself and get used to the world travel, then you shouldn't be problem. And uh, I believe it would be the fun town because there are so many cultures over there. But if you are coming with your family with small kids, probably you want to avoid that area. Yeah. Well, it's my personal opinion though. Oh, by the way, I was born and raised in Osaka. Osaka is my hometown. Hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Seno Go. Please don't forget to check my Instagram and Twitter account. Anyway, let's keep walking. So let's go. There are so many takoyaki restaurants in Osaka. As you can see, six takoyakis for 350 Japanese yen. Yeah, compared to Tokyo, definitely much cheaper. Pork okonomiyaki is 400 Japanese yen, and also fried noodle yakisoba is 400 Japanese yen too. Hmm, nice local price. Anyway, the Omo 7 is this way. Let's go. Compared to other parts of Osaka, there are many traditional shops here. So, it must be fun for travelers too. And here we go. It's my first time to visit here. Almost heaven. Wow. That's bigger than what I thought. Nice. This place was vacant land for a very long time, but now it became a super nice hotel. Well, at the first time, building a luxury hotel in this grand, it was not really a smart move, that's what I thought. However, they were building this for travelers from foreign country. But as you can see, due to the COVID, hmm, not so many people still visiting here. Well, hope one day I can stay here and make a review video. I was not in Osaka for a while, so there are so many new things coming here. Especially Osaka has the expo in 2025. So today I'm planning to walk from Shinimami area to Dotonbori. So hopefully you guys enjoy too. Alright, so let's keep walking. Can you see the building over there? That building called Abe no Harukasu, which was the tallest building in Japan. However, new building is building in Tokyo and uh, unfortunately, that building not gonna be the tallest one. Yeah, they will break the record. And we came to the Super World, which is one of the most popular onsen amusement park. There is a swimming pool and onsen. You can actually stay here too. There are so many different kinds of onsen and swimming pool. If you are the onsen lover, definitely you can enjoy here. Entrance fee is 1,500 Japanese yen. It's including swimming pool. However, if you want to use the slides, you have to pay extra. Well, compared to other places, I think price is really reasonable. And especially, I love this place because of here. We can watch beautiful view of the Shinsekai Street. 
especially it's a perfect place to take a photo spot can you see that intersection that was one of the most popular photo spot before because there was a mascot however now it's gone so probably this place will be the best photo spot if you visit here make sure to come over to here too well, because of the writing, you can't see my face much here, but trust me, you can take a really great photo from here. Anyway, let's keep walking to the Shinsekai. Let's go. Oh, now they're building something in front of Spa World. This is a good spot. I'm wondering what it will be. What I know, I will let you guys know. Don't forget to subscribe. And we have something new here. There is some sad change, but good change too. I believe many people took photo of the Tsutenkaku here. Especially there was a blowfish mascot, so beautiful photo spot. Unfortunately, this Zbolaya was closed down, so it's gone now. But still many people taking photo here. Yeah, that's right. That's a kind of sad change. Before going to the main street, let's go to check the back street too. Turn right over there and keep straight. In the first corner, turn right again and you will get to the back street. This place called Janjan Yokocho, it's a really local tiny street. There are so many small traditional restaurants and the stores. It was really quiet during the pandemic, but now seems like more people here. Good to see. And also many restaurants are open now. There is a retro game center too. Video games 50 Japanese yen. That's nice. <laughs> Have you seen this? It's a really old cotton candy machines. Well, when I was a kid, this one was only 50 Japanese yen for one time, but now it's 200 Japanese yen. <laughs> yeah, well, I think that's a retro premium. <laughs> nice though. Now came back to the main street. Oh my goodness, look at these claw machines. Uh, it's a club hand pen. <laughs> Interesting. Here we go, we arrived to Tsutenkaku. I heard they built this slide. One of the biggest slides, but I'm wondering where it is. Let me see. Oh, maybe that one over there. Let's get closer. Yeah, that's exactly what I watch on the news. They built the slide, but uh, in the east part. That's why I didn't realize it. It looks pretty fun, but one time it's 1,000 Japanese yen, also I can't film it, so maybe we can try it next time. By the way, <laughs> that's something what I found. <laughs> there is a really local udon store. I didn't know that. Uh, udon is 170 Japanese yen. Wow, that's a good price. After you see the Tsutenkaku, you can just keep straight and you will find the Osaka Shinsekai Arcade. Just keep straight and you will get to Denden Town. It's a really local arcade, but it's right behind the Tsutenkaku. So used to be there were many stores too. However, after the pandemic, many restaurants are closed. You can take a beautiful photo from this side as well. Oh, now we have more people in the Lateral Game Center. Nice. <laughs> this is the arcade I introduced in my very early video. Oh, this local arcade gets brighter. Before it was pretty dark and it was like a ghost town. But now, yeah, arcade is coming back. However, no customers though. <laughs> it's a nice arcade, right? If you want to enjoy the Japan's local atmosphere, definitely you need to stop by here. It's right behind of the Tsutenkaku. There are so many local shops. Around this area drink, vending machines are cheaper than usual place. For example, those bottled drink, usually it costs 160 Japanese yen, but uh, it's 100 Japanese yen. 
<laughs> Even those prices are cheaper, but the Costa Coffee, it's the same price, 180 Japanese yen. Those vending machines are cheap, but there is a good and cheap fruit drink store run by grandma. Those fruits drink from 230 Japanese yen to 350 Japanese yen. They will make it just in front of you after you order it. Why not? Let's order it. In front of the restaurant, there is a space to drink too. Oh, right, here we go. The price is 230 Japanese yen. Inside, there is a peach, apple, orange, and a banana. <laughs> 230 Japanese yen? They use the fresh fruits, but cheaper than 7 Eleven. <laughs> That's nice. Come by. <laughs> ah. Psycho. Well, it's really sad to see empty local street. It still gets better. However, hopefully, travelers can come back soon here. Really hope so. By the way, uh, I still haven't cut my hair. I definitely need to cut my hair. Yeah. Ooh. That was a good rest, so let's go to the next spot, then the town. Let's keep walking. <laughs> Sweet. I love the atmosphere of Osaka. Really friendly. Speaking of the weather, it's 31 degrees, so it's still better. However, really humid, so that's why feels like in a steam room. After crossing street, here we go. It's already Denen town. It's a Osaka's Akihabara electric town. If you love anime and electric stuff, this is the place that you want to come in Osaka. Hmm, seems like people are coming back to the town. Oh my goodness, I can't remember how many videos that I took from those areas. Yeah, it feels so natsukashi. If you love Osaka, please check my Ari videos. And now I'm moving to Tokyo. It's going for the next step. I'm so happy. Thank you so much for supporting me. And for those who love Osaka, don't worry about it. I will come back to Osaka in the future too. So I will make a video about Osaka occasionally too. So please don't worry about it. And now I arrive to number parks. But beforehand, look at that. There is a tall new buildings here. It was the empty grand. But now they're building the hotel and the shopping mall. Wow, this place will be changed. Yeah, definitely Osaka is getting ready for the Osaka Expo. Wow, so many new things. Can't wait for the post COVID. It would be so much fun. And here we go, we arrive to Namba Parks. Namba Parks is located in South Spurred of Namba Station. It's really popular shopping mall for Osaka local. Well, if you have been following me for a long time already, you know that, but let me show you guys. In this shopping mall, there is a hiking track. It's kind of a long hiking track with stairs. You can go in up, go in up, and you can see the beautiful scenery too. It opens from 10 to 12. This place was closed during the pandemic, but now it's open. Before checking Nava Park's hiking track, let's go to check the Dotomori because it's almost there. Let's keep walking. This way. Let's go. It's Nankai Namba Station. It's the entrance of Namba Station. Going to Dotomori, just go through inside the station. That's the easiest way. This is the entrance of Nankai Namba Station. If you are visiting Wakaya Prefecture, most likely you will use this station. And here we go. This intersection, it's kind of like trademark of Namba Station. So in this intersection, do you guys remember which street you have to go to the Dotomori Food Street? Ebisubashi Suji or Namba Nankai Dori? Yep, that's right. Ebisubashi Suji. Let's keep walking. <laughs> and you can just keep straight. About 5 minutes, you will get to Dotonbori Food Street. Oh. In front of Ripple's Cheesecake. There is so many lines. Nice. It looks like uh, before the pandemic. 
Oh, that's interesting. Takoyaki cookie. It looks like takoyaki, but cookie. Here we go. That's Dodonbori Food Street and also Ebisubashi Bridge. <laughs> Good to see people taking photos with the Gurika Running Man powers. Seems like they have a magic performance. In that area, crowded. But uh, in front of Dodonbori Gurika Running Man, not so many people. Well, it's Monday, so maybe on the weekend, there will be so many travelers taking photo in front of the Greek running man. This side of the street is really quiet too. How about in the opposite side? <laughs> quiet. But again, I believe because this is Monday, if you come over here on the weekend, there will be so many people. That's what I believe. That's a street going to Shinsaibashi and the American Village. Seems like it's crowded. So how about in the Dodonbori Food Street? Oh, it was Forever 21 and after that it became a souvenir shop. But now they are building something new. I'm wondering what it is. Yeah. I'm wondering. So speaking of Dodonbori Food Street, uh, I feel like most of the stores are open now. Only the difference is that uh, no travelers, so less customer. Hopefully, Japan will open soon so that travelers can come back to Japan. Let's go to say hi to the Mizukake Fudo. This is Hozenzi. People are coming back to this place. This is my favorite sunset spot. Oh, Tombori Kuru is working and uh, they have many customers too. Nice. Since we are in Osaka, why not? Let's eat takoyaki. Let's get takoyaki from here. Nine takoyaki is 500 Japanese yen. Thinking about the Dotonbori price, it's pretty good. Oh. They have a beer set too. <laughs> Why not? I think this one is better. Also, seems like if you are the kids or student, uh, you can get the free drink. Hmm, nice service. Why not? Let's do it. I always see the restaurant over here, but it's my first time to try. And especially, it was a super hot day, so I was really thirsty. <laughs> Takoyaki with beer must be really good. All right, here we go. Takoyaki arrived. Smells so good. And with beer, always perfect. Well, you know, takoyaki, it's really hot inside, so I always have to wait. <laughs> Let's wait two to three minutes. Well, if it's your first time to eat takoyaki, definitely you should wait. Otherwise, you know, outside still okay, but inside really hot. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's kanpai with you. Kanpai. <sighs> Loving it. Alright, about two to three minutes passed, so I think it should be fine. Let's eat. Itadakimasu. It's good. Well, takoyaki, there are many different kinds of tastes. The sauce is most popular one, but this time I ordered a soy sauce with mayonnaise. <laughs> there are so many takoyakis, but each store has a different taste. Well, <laughs> to be honest, uh, this takoyaki is not the best of the best. However, I think it's still good for the price. <laughs> Thinking about the Dodomori. Yeah. <laughs> takoyaki, kanpai. <laughs> Hmm. Oh. Psycho. Well, you know, especially, I love the atmosphere. Really nice view. Oh, by the way, if you guys are wondering why I'm using chopsticks, well, there are two ways to eat. One is the toothpick, and this time I use chopsticks. It's much easier to eat. Speaking of takoyaki, it's really popular food in Osaka. However, not that much in Tokyo. 
you know, I used to work in Tokyo, and after living in Tokyo for a while, I just realized that there are not so many takoyaki stores compared to Osaka. Yeah, in Osaka, takoyaki store, they are pretty much everywhere. And then if you follow my Instagram already, you know that how much it costs because I posted it like this. Well, definitely, if you love takoyaki, you should try the local takoyaki. Yeah. There are so many takoyaki stores in Dotonbori too, but in the small stations, you can find many takoyaki restaurants too. <laughs> It was pretty good. Uh, this place is kind of crowded, so let's go back to the Nama Park so that I can talk better. It's really hot. Small Japanese lesson. Those lantern called Chochin. Chochin in Japanese. So, came back to the Nama Parks. On top of the number parks, you can see the nice view like this. I love the color of the grass in the summer. Really beautiful. That Dotomori street is really busy, but this area, usually it's quiet. So if you want to take a rest, this is the place that you want to come. Anyway, hopefully you guys could see how the Japan looks like and you could enjoy the virtual Osaka tour. Uh, speaking of the Japan's travel situation, here's the new update. Today it's Monday and uh, yesterday finally the Japan's election has finished so I believe from now on the Japanese government more focus on the new strategy. However, there is one bad news too. Recently, the COVID numbers is kind of increasing in Japan. I'm not sure how it will go, but definitely I will give you guys an update. So don't forget to subscribe. And also speaking of the moving to Tokyo stuff, <laughs> Well, I'm shamefully tell you that uh, I haven't done at all. So tomorrow, I have to pack all my stuff into the carbon box and I have to ship it to Tokyo. <laughs> there are so many small equipments, you know, the recording stuff. Yeah, so I uh, need to do it really quick. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's not procrastinating. Uh, I, uh, I was just busy. <laughs> well, being busy is the just excuse. So, yeah. Anyway, tomorrow I need to pack my stuff. Day after tomorrow, I have to go back to Tokyo. And after that, uh, uh, I need to start reparking at the new apartment and, uh, Work on the new place. Yeah, that would be busy, but definitely I will let you guys know how it goes. Hopefully, everything will be good. Hopefully. Well, I was thinking if I make a video from Osaka or not, but I believe that many of you guys wanted to see the situation in Osaka too, because Osaka is one of the biggest city in Japan. So hopefully, if you love Osaka, you could see the Osaka situation. And I hope this video can help your next Japan travel. Big thank you to all of my Patreons. Because of you guys' support, I can keep charming. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account. And also, please don't be shy. If you haven't, don't forget to subscribe so that you can find my channel easier. Anyway, so hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next video. Say no go. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye bye. Well, I haven't cut my hair. It gets pretty long. I was planning to cut my hair in Osaka, but uh, I couldn't find the time. So maybe I will cut my hair in Tokyo. You know, long hair in summer, really hard. In the next video, probably you guys will see me going to Tokyo. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs>